top lawmakers adopt a key law to check monopolies and ensure order in the market. The government launches an ambitious program aimed at providing affordable housing for low-income families. And the Shanghai Stock Exchange issues trading rules for listed funds to boost efficiency on the bourse. Welcome to Biz China on CCTV International. From Beijing, I'm Wei Su Lok. We have the latest business and financial news for you ahead in the next half hour. But let's get down to our top story. China's first anti-monopoly law has finally been approved by the top lawmakers. A whole swathe of new regulations will crack down hard on monopolistic behavior as part of moves to better regulate the market. Guan Xin reports on a law set to take effect next year on August the 1st. Foreign acquisitions of Chinese companies will be subject to stringent new checks intended to protect China's economic security under new competition law passed on Thursday. The law requires foreign purchases of Chinese companies to go through national security checks. It bans monopolistic agreements such as cartels and other forms of collusion and provides for investigation and prosecution of monopolistic practices while protecting monopolistic agreements that promote innovation and technological advance. The law prohibits monopolists from wielding their dominant status in market to curb competition, fix prices, enforce package sales and refuse or enforce trade. Foreign companies have begun to acquire major state-owned enterprises or companies with famous brands in recent years, arousing concerns about China's economic security. The number of foreign mergers and acquisitions only accounted for 5% of all forms of foreign direct investment in China before 2004. The figure increased to 11% in 2004 and to almost 20% in 2005. Experts say that China's socialist market economy is finally showing signs of maturity and that an anti-monopoly law is imperative under current market circumstances. Guan Xin, CCTV. Meanwhile, Western business groups in China have welcomed the just-passed anti-monopoly law, saying they hope it will contribute to greater openness. The president of the European Union Chamber of Commerce in China expressed the hope the law would mean a more open economy and a level playing field for businesses in China. Meanwhile, the American Chamber of Commerce in China has also welcomed this move. But both are looking for further clarification on how the law will be applied. This includes standards for administrative monopoly procedures for reviewing transactions and grounds for enforcement of national security checks. We see on the passing of the anti-monopoly law and for more concrete details and its legal implications we have Mr. Edward Lehman in the studio. Mr. Lehman is a attorney at the Beijing-based Lehman Li and Xu legal firm. Glad to have you in the studio. Great Welcome to be to here. China. Terrific. No, it's a wonderful day and a good day to talk about the anti-monopoly law. Okay, all right, let's start with the very basics. As you were saying just now, the anti-monopoly law is great in the abstract. What is it in the concrete, and what is it in China? Yeah, well, what it is going to be, what it is in the abstract right now, and I think if you wanted to liken it to a, to a painting, it would be like an abstract painting, basically. I mean, they've, they've set out the basic framework, but there's a whole bunch of issues that uh, have to be resolved yet. And that will remain to be seen. I, I think the first thing we should talk about maybe is a little bit about what it is exactly. And the first anti-monopoly law was actually passed in 1624 in the United Kingdom. Um, in the United States it wasn't until 1890 that we passed the law, not that much after the American Civil War. And we've spent many, many years developing what we think is this antitrust or anti-monopoly law. Um, and it, it's a confusing. We call it antitrust in America, uh, called anti-monopoly in, uh, in England. And here in, in, in China it's Long, Long Duan is, uh, is the name for it. And uh, all of them are not a very good translation of what it's all about. It's supposed to prohibit market manipulation by companies or groups uh, to, to make things unfair for consumers, basically. Okay, so if anti-monopoly is not a good uh, translation, then uh, what is market